Clinton Miner here from Sage Sawtooth Bushcraft. Just wanted to do a little follow-up video. Uh, had a lot of response to the setup we made as far as the raised gardens using the water tanks. Just wanted to show you how those have turned out. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead, we'll come over here and take a closer look, but just wanted you to see that they've, they've worked wonderfully. I have purposefully not weeded these gardens. So you can see the, uh, the fact that uh, because we put new soil in it, because we've been careful, we don't have a lot of weeds. Also, the, the level is, is great. Very easy to get to the produce. You'll see that we've got pretty good produce. I've, I've got a little bit of a problem with some of my plants not doing terribly well. I think we've taken care of that with some fertilizer we put on the, on the, uh, the gardens. We'll go ahead and show you how things have turned out, so stay tuned. The timing is great. Uh, it started to rain, and uh, so you're going to hear the beautiful sound of rain in this late summer time. It's the 23rd day of August. You can see that this end, we've got some cucumbers that have done very well. Um, we built, put a little uh, trellis in there and, and they've climbed up that trellis. Um, down here below is one of the runners from the next uh, planter over. And those are butternut squash. You can see that butternut is going crazy. It's all around. Ooh, there's a cucumber that's uh, way beyond appropriate size, we'll probably end up feeding that one to the horse. You can see, see right down in here, we've got watermelon growing and we've got uh, a melon there, another melon there, and we've got a couple on the ground as well, so things are going well. We planted some marigolds with the hope that that would keep the pests out and it seems to have done well. Had just a little bit of a problem with the um, watering system that didn't have anything to do with the way we set it up in these uh, these raised gardens, uh, the problem really came in the fact that upstream from us, upstream from these gardens, we have uh, a leak that has taken the pressure away. And so what we've been doing is just supplementing the watering and that's been fine. You can see these these leaves uh, have, have gone uh, brown on me. And I think that that is partially due to the watering issue, which we've resolved. The leaves were much yellower just a few days ago, and I think that that's because we went ahead and did some uh, fertilizer. But those leaves that are browning are the ones that are showing these beautiful butternut squash. So the plant seems to be doing well. Take a look then at our tomatoes. Again, the bottom of those are a little tough, but the top of the plants are are, are large and we harvested probably 30 to 35 tomatoes yesterday off from the one bush. I'll come around and we'll take a look at those a little closer. You can see we've got more about ready to come on. So we've got a, it, it has turned out very, very well. Um, and, and with absolutely minimal effort, we've done almost nothing. I, like I said, I fertilized a few days ago and that is the extent of the effort that I've put into these, these raised gardens. You can see that there's, there's the raised garden. Go one step further. We had a, a third garden that had early um, uh, spring plants in it. We've harvested those. Here in the next little while, we are planning on putting in some late fall cabbage uh, type plants that hopefully we will be able to um, harvest later into the winter. Take one last look. We also, <clears throat> something I didn't share with you, we used an old wash tub that I had that leaked horribly and put together a little herb garden. We've got some sage, uh, some rosemary, and some thyme in there. It sounds like a, a song from the uh, Simon and Garfunkel era, and we've put together uh, another pot here that has some mint in it. We've been harvesting some of that and drying it. The mint is at a point where we really need to harvest it, 
But again, we put uh, drip lines into those off from the watering system and they've done quite well. If our system had not had the problems with pressure, I think we would have done fantastic. The final thing I'll share with you is that the local wildlife seem to enjoy our gardens as well. And as he is the mascot for Sage Sawtooth Bushcraft, I'll use him to sign off. This gardening experiment that we put together was really a, an experiment in preparation. And that's what this channel really is all about. The ability to provide for ourselves. With those 30 tomatoes that we harvested yesterday, we were able to put together a huge bowl of fresh salsa that is really, really tasty. And uh, not only that, but we know with these gardens, we can sustain a fairly substantial amount of produce and we are therefore prepared for at least part of what we're facing in the future. And as we say here at Sage Sawtooth Bushcraft, if you're prepared, you're never really lost. Thank you.